What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S21 will have new 5 nanometer processors, Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888. Yes, they jumped straight to 888, skipping the 875. And today Qualcomm made the Snapdragon 888 official, revealing all the new features and performance gains. Since the Galaxy S21 will be one of the first, if not the first phone to use this chipset, expect a lot of these features on Samsung's latest flagships. First up, Qualcomm went all in with the GPU this time, with an improvement of a massive 35% compared to 865, with around a 20% greater power efficiency than last year's model. The Adreno 660 comes with new features too, most notably variable rate shading, which will allow developers to noticeably increase frame rates on more graphically intensive games, so expect the games to run even smoother than this year's models. On the CPU side, they've made a 25% improvement compared to last year while also being 25% more efficient. As you can see, they're using these cluster of cores including the powerful X1 Prime core, but for some reason, the clock speeds of these cores are less than Exynos 2100, which isn't made official yet by the way, so you can expect better performance on the Exynos 2100 at least on the CPU side. Whether or not Samsung will be able to beat those 35% gains in graphics is yet to be seen. Anyway, unlike the Snapdragon 865, the new 888 chipset now has an integrated 5G modem and that's useful for a number of reasons. First, it saves the crucial space inside the phone, that means manufacturers won't have to deal with finding the space for a second external modem which will lead to a bigger batteries or additional components. Two, it saves power since the modem is closely integrated into the chip. And three, it also means phones with this chipset may cost slightly cheaper since companies don't have to rearrange the motherboards and make the device bigger to accommodate that extra 5G modem. On the camera side, Qualcomm is introducing a very significant update by making three ISP cores instead of one. This will dramatically increase image processing bandwidth, but also allow smartphone makers to increase the speed of switching between various image sensors on your phone. Also, it allows the phone to do things like capture three simultaneous 4K HDR video streams or three 28 megapixel photos at once at up to 2.7 gigapixels per second. They have also made improvements to their AI chip, low light photography architecture and more. All in all, it's the biggest upgrade Qualcomm did ever since the Snapdragon 835 and phones using this chip will therefore see a big jump in the performance and graphics. Samsung will launch a new set of wireless earbuds along with the Galaxy S21 and we have the official renders of it courtesy of Evan Blass. These will be called Galaxy Buds Pro and offer the same in-ear design as Samsung's first two wireless earbuds. Thankfully though, it doesn't look like a kidney bean. As far as the improvements are concerned, the ambient mode will be better than ever, it will have active noise cancellation and a bigger battery. Interestingly, the same phantom violet cutter will also be seen on the Galaxy S21, which to be honest looks beautiful. Of course, with that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.